A few days ago, Nintendo decided to release a full-on Splatoon 3 Tour Form match, which was out of the bloom, nobody saw it coming, it's on their Twitter, it's on their YouTube, it's all over the place with their stuff. In today's video, we're going to go through this entire video and have a little look at some small details that some people might have missed, because I've noticed some stuff as well from when I watched the video for the first time, and it is hype. So without further ado, let's get into analysing this video, and if you liked today's video, subscribe. Okay. I'll start off the bat just by saying, okay, before I go into anything and say anything, the intro sequence right here, if I can quickly show you guys, looks way different to how Splatoon 2 is set out, and it looks so much better. It actually shows the entire player cast in the beginning as well. And you can see the physics on both teams. I really like the animation for them. Oh yeah, of course, they've got the box cannon launchers. I don't know what they're called, but they're launchers. And you've got the, you've got, oh my god, oh shoot. What's the name of the song again? I, okay, wait a minute, I need to look at the name of the song. I cannot remember what the freaking hell the song name is. Seaside Clickbait, that's the name of the freaking. Oh my god. I mean, I, did, I have it downloaded on my, on my phone as well. What the hell am I thinking? I should know the name of the song. Different tags and different kind of details. They've got different splat screens as well. On the tabs at the bottom where they show like who you've splatted as well. It's pretty cool. Was that? Hold on, wait. Go back, go back, go back. I think it's, I think it's like a point sensor. Oh! I'm just going frame by frame. Like right here, look at this. It's almost like a suction bomb in a way, but it's like, well it's not, it's not a suction bomb, it's like a point sensor in a way. And that point sensor is basically just targeting them. So you have to actually aim to target them in a way, that's just pretty cool. And then, of course, with a massive ink zooker as well. Which I am so happy they brought back the ink zooker. Oh yeah, and of course it... You know, I noticed this when I was actually looking at it as well. This has got a really weird kind of thing to it. This whole thing, this whole bubble thing, is almost, it's like a shield in a way, but in the middle of it, it looks like it's got a beacon symbol as well. So it might be able to jump to it, but I don't think it's kind of the case. And it's just, it's just a standard shield. But I did notice right there on the, on the right hand side, that thing there, that's the weak point. That is where you should destroy it, which I think I feel like a lot of people noticed in some part of the trailer, but that's where you destroy the shield things. Okay, I can remember seeing this in the trailer as well when I first watched it. This is a really weird special that's just going to come up. And it's pretty cool as well. Right here. <laughs> okay, in a way, this is almost like Luigi's, um, if, you're, if anyone's played Smash Bros and they've seen Luigi's Final Smash from Ultimate, it's kind of like Luigi's Poltergeist Final Smash. You just suck in all kinds of things and then at the end you just, boom, just blast out at your opponent. And I don't know exactly how it works. I don't know if you have to aim it or if it will just kind of target the enemy in some way, but it seems like it doesn't have any splat- Oh, wait, never mind, I tell lie. Okay, so you got an initial damage, but then you've got a massive explosion as well, so that's how that works. All oh, right, okay, yeah, I was just about to say, the terror, this terror mechanic is really interesting. It's really strange how this is working, because you can latch on, from what I can see, to either any of the walls, or on certain parts of the map, and just like the ink jet in Splatoon 2, you jump back to where you first initially used it. Because right here, this is where they started using it, right here. And if I go to when they jump back, right about here, they landed basically where they used it initially. So it is essentially like the ink jet, but it's a tether mechanic instead. Which is really cool, it allows you to zip around the map, cover turf, take out enemies, and it's really good. It's a really unique mechanic that I've never seen in any of the games before. It's basically brand new. There are some things that I want to point out as well before getting to anything, but right now we'll talk about the special, because this is a pretty interesting special with the whole mechanic of using it. And I think it's pretty cool. Okay, right here. This is the this is a confirmed ca like indication that you're going to be using the cannons as a respawn point in the in the first trailer it showed off the fact that there was a potential like respawn platform to come up from after you get launched in initially which i talked about when i was talking about the trailer for the first time but this is indicating that they just scrapped that whole idea and that was probably a test mechanic and they're using the cannons as a whole respawn thing which is so freaking cool it takes away everything that we've known about from the other two splatoon games where the whole respawn platform was going to become a thing it's so cool. And I can also see you got the splash wall as well. And right here, this whole killer whale thing is pretty damn cool. Like, it starts off with this whole thing, it initiates, and it just targets the players that are in a certain range. Or oh, it may be like Stingray as well. Oh, yeah, right. This is also a pretty cool special that I believe a lot of people know this as well, but I want to talk about it just a wee bit. I think, I don't know what it is exactly. I think how it works is that you launch a missile, which is indicated from the back pack, as you can see right there, which just launches up, and then you throw down 
bombs. I think you only get three shots, which is indicated by the number of missiles on top right, but it doesn't matter. You get three shots and three ink strikes will come down and strike on top of you, which is pretty damn cool. It's almost like the Booyah Bomb in a way, but it's got the format of an ink strike. It's not as OP as an ink, as ink strike, but I don't exactly know, but it still looks pretty cool. I mean, it's probably going to be busted. Also, can I just say, let's just talk about this music, this last minute music right here. Honestly, like, I am hyped for this game because this music is just, like, so cool as well. <laughs> and also, I know people have talked about this before, but Judd, or Little Judd, I should say, looks like a freaking, like, plushie. He's, like, so, he's, like, either so furry or he's got some sort of fur problem and he's very spiky. And also, the victory music is a vibe. This is another thing as well that people have been talking about. You actually get medals for how well you did in the game as well, which I'll go over in a minute. And this whole victory screen, this is a, this is such a cool victory screen as a whole. I love this victory screen. It's so cool. And it's different to how the other games were as well. And you got the banner art. This banner art as well looks amazing. But yeah, right here, you can see, like, there's medals for it as well. Overall splatter, popular target, and enemy splatter. It's really interesting how they've actually made this as a whole. This is, like, a really good thing that they've added. I hope, and I mean I hope, have mechanic. It's still cool if they don't have mechanic. But it would be so much better if they had a mechanic, and I feel like they will have a mechanic. Anyways, let's have a little look over some small details with some things like as a whole, because I did say I was going to go over it again, and right here, I feel like I need to address something like straight off the bat. As I said before, no respawn platform. Right there, down the bottom, boom, gone, there's nothing. And you can launch in anywhere onto the map. Another thing is right here with this whole, like, kill screen as well. This kill screen as well is very interesting compared to what we've seen before. Attention seeking base dropper. I have no idea what that means. It might just be like a nickname or something. This whole poltergust mechanic right here with this whole suction special. It's really interesting how it is. You, it's, it seems like a really unique special. This is an entirely new one where you just suck up all the enemy ink and you just chuck it back at the face and it blows up in the face like a freaking booyah bomb or suction bomb. Just, look, look at this. Boom. It's got, it takes a minute to blow up. But it's got such a big radius for something that's so little. Like, look at that. Hits the opponent, and then BOOM! It's got such a big radius. Like, you cannot tell me that that right there is not a ginormous radius. Look at this! Yeah, the ink bomb, like, right here. You can see right here with the whole ink bomb, like, explosion range thing. My guy is right next to Look how close he is to this. He's right next to it, and yet he does not take any damage, basically. Like, they barely take any damage. Well, I say that. They do take a bit of damage. I'm also going to have a look at these logos as well, because there might be stuff in these logos, like, above me. And also, this, these gear sets are completely new, and they look a lot diff more different to how we've seen... Well, not a lot different, but they have a lot of things to it. Regardless, that is a Splatoon 3 trailer, and there's a lot as a whole from it. But yes, guys, that's going to do it for today's video of analyzing the Splatoon 3 Turf War match that Nintendo explicitly just posted out the bloom. If you guys have seen anything that I probably missed, or want to say anything that you might have seen in the trailer yourself, then feel free to post a comment below and just share information and educate. We can educate each other, essentially. If you guys liked today's video, then I'll check a like and subscribe if you want to see more kind of stuff, because you will not want to miss more Splatoon 2 stuff that I will be doing in the future, along with Minecraft and Splatoon, not Splatoon, Smash Bros stuff. And also, I stream on Twitch as well, which you can check out in the link below, along with my Discord server, which you can come and join and have a bit of fun with that as well. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching today's video, and as always, I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!